I've come a bit further south than I usually go. I'm fishing more down Scott Harris's direction. Um, there's a chance of the codlin, obviously, conger, thornback rays, dogs, your typical fish, really. Don't know what's going to happen today, or well, well, tonight, but we're going to see. Using a mixture of baits, black looking squid, bluey, razor fish, just a general array of baits. Fingers crossed we pull out a codlin, but we'll see now. Well, I've been fishing away for a while now. Nothing as of yet. I've had a few little indications. Probably just the crabs, maybe. But, still trying for the codling. Scott down there has had a couple of dogfish. Uh, Chrissy G was here. He also had a dogfish. So, there is a bit of life out there. Just got to keep trying and see. I don't mind what happens with this session. It's the first one back this season. It's good just to get out. I'm also using the multiplier for the first time. Fishing with bait and everything. So, it's not gone too bad. I've had one birdie so far, but managed to pick it out. But yeah, we'll keep fishing away, see what happens. Fingers crossed we get something. Just landed a nice little conger, it was six pound, two ounces, a new PB for me. Where we are and where we fish normally, you don't catch many of them, but I've come down south and it goes to show it's worth traveling. So well chuffed with this. What I'm gonna do with this is do a catch and cook on it. I've never eaten a conger, I've been told it tastes nice, but I never catch them by us, like I said, so this one would be a good one to do it with. Hopefully you can see the length of it there. It's gotta be about three foot long probably, but yeah, well chuffed with that. Try and show you that side. Let's get back out for some more fish. What I'm doing here, just going to show you the bait I'm chucking out. Just had that conger, so what I've decided to do is put out a big chunk of bluey. That conger was caught on bluey and squid wrap. If you have a look there, that's a big bluey bait. Basically, I took the tail off, took the head off, but left the gills there. A bit more blood and guts coming out. All the guts are still in, more scent. But yeah, that's quite a large bait there. Um, it's penalled. I've got the one hook sticking out there, the other one is sticking out the other side there. Um, it's just being used on a normal pulley rig. I will show you the rigs in a bit. But yeah, one rod, I'm chucking out fish baits, see if we can get some more congers. The other rod is bl uh, black lug and squid for the cod. Cod's still the target, but I'm not going to complain at congers. It's a rare catch for me, so let's get this chucked out. What I'm going to do is show you the rig I'm using. I've got a pulley rig, it's roughly four to five foot long. It's got a roto bait clip there, thermalink. That bait is razor and black lug, as you can see, clipped down. The rig body, the main rig body is £80 and the snood is £50. Coming up to the top, you've just got the pulley bead and the thermalink with the power swivel. And then it goes on to a thermalink and £80 shock leader, which goes up onto the rod. The main line I'm using is £20 and that's it. Getting these chucked out, hoping for those coddling. Well, that's the session finished. We only had that one conger, which I'm very chuffed with, being a personal best. But it's dropped absolutely freezing now. I think the lens on the camera is also freezing up. It might be a bit blurry. I have given it a wipe, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the first session back this season. I wasn't planning on fishing this season, as you know, because I've got the boat to do. But things have changed a little, so I am going to be getting out. I'm hoping to travel south, I'm hoping to give Chesil a go, Bristol Channel, a few of the South Wales marks, 
But we'll just see how it goes, trying to work around it with work, kids. You know how life is. It is a bit awkward, but yeah, I want to try and get out and do a bit more shore fishing. I've also got this new rod, that T900 and the new reel. So you spend money on kit, I need to use it, don't I? Um, but that's it really. Hopefully it won't be too long. We'll be back out again chasing these elusive cod, well, cod lid. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.